Hey everyone, welcome to episode 5 of how to build iPhone apps and in this episode we're going to start building our demo application. Uh, what I would suggest before viewing this video is going onto my website codewithchris.com clicking this link on the side how to make iPhone apps with no programming experience and read the first uh, the first two posts uh, to kind of get an introduction to Objective C. So after this demo series, I'm going to start creating videos to teach you how to learn um, Objective C. But for now, uh, I found it easier just to write everything down. Uh, so go ahead and read these two posts to get an understanding if you get lost uh, while we go through this video. And another video that would be helpful, sorry, another post which would be helpful is number four, an Xcode 4 tutorial for beginners. And this post I wrote to describe all the different areas about Xcode and all of the different features and stuff like that. So as I'm going through Xcode in this video, if you get lost, I would suggest going onto my website and reading those three posts and then revisiting this video. Okay, so we're gonna dive right in here. In the last video, we described how these files on your left hand side here pertain to the MVC pattern and we said that the app delegate is the entry point to the application by default Xcode creates a controller for you a controller class uh, it creates a view for you but it doesn't create a model so we're gonna start with that and we're gonna create our model so uh, right click in the project navigator and click new file uh, you can select from a couple of different things here, but we want to create an Objective C class, and we're going to call it Dice uh, Data Controller. Make sure it's a subclass of NS Object, and I'm just going to save it in the root. Normally, for a larger project, I might uh, separate all the files into uh, different folders to organize it, but we won't have that much files, and this is a short demo, so I'm going to leave everything in the root. So what it created for me is two files for the Dice Data Controller class. And if you guys read the Objective-C primer on my site, you'll understand what the .h and .m means. But if you haven't yet, the .h file is essentially uh, the interface file. So it describes how other classes can interact with this class. So you declare you know, all of your uh, properties and methods in here and then in the .m file or the implementation file you actually write the code for your methods. So we're going to start in the .h file and we're going to declare a private method so that minus sign denotes a private method. We're going to have it return um, a number, an integer, and we're going to call it get dice roll. And I'm going to co copy the me a method signature and I'm going to go over to my uh, it should be data dice controller dot m so the implementation fo uh, file and I'm going to implement that method in here and if you don't have this kind of dual view that I have here um, you can go to this little icon up in the upper right hand co corner called the assistant editor and this view is helpful because when you're viewing a class it's going to show you both the header and the implementation file so you don't have to jump back and forth uh, if you were only using a single view you know you'd have to toggle between it like that so uh, if you have a big screen a big monitor you can use the assistant editor view okay so let's go back to get dice roll so what we want to do in here is return a number from 1 to 6. First we're going to declare an integer named roll and we're going to initialize that with a random number. So this function will give me a random integer and I'm going to mod that by 6. Essentially that's going to give me 0 to 5 and I'm going to add 1 to give me 1 to 6 for our roll. And then I'm just going to return that. Oh, I can't type. Okay. So it's a simple model class that we've created, but it 
does its job. You know, remember that the model class is responsible for handling, organizing, validating the data. And so this is exactly what this class is going to do. It's going to give us the data to power uh, the views. So now let's work on um, the interface. So click viewcontroller.zip. I'm going to switch to single view here. And what we want to start off doing is adding our background. So if in the lower right hand corner here, this is called uh, the library, which you can type in, you know, if you know what you're looking for, you can type it in here and this just displays all of the UI elements that you can add onto your view. So we want to add a UI image view, which displays an image for us. So I'll just add that. As you can see, you can specify an image in there, but I don't have any images in my project. So let's go ahead and add them. First, I'm going to create a group in our project called resources. And from the file system, I'm going to drag all these images that I need into Xcode. And it's going to give you some options. You know, I want to copy it into the projects folder if I want, if I need to. So let's look at some images. I've got the numbers one to six and I've got the background. So this is what I wanted to add into our image view that we created. So image view, you know, select it from here, felt. Uh, now we've got our felt image. So let's add a label next. There's another class that we need called UI label which lets us just put some text on the view. Uh, right here in the attributes pane, I'm going to specify that the font color should be white and it should say click to roll and it should be justified. Okay. Next thing we want to do is add a button. So again, we have a button class called UI button. So let's add that. I'm going to change the text on the button to roll. Okay. So we've got a uh, kind of the startings of our interface. Actually, we want to create one more label for the sum of the dice roll. So I'm going to drag it from the library and change the font color to white again. And I'm going to empty out the text. You can also label your elements here in case you have a lot and it gets confusing. So I'm going to name, uh, name this sub some label because episode five was quite long i've split it up into four parts so that it's easier to digest click in the link in the description to go to the next part or click this annotation to proceed all right i'll see you in the next part